Hello, Vladimir. Hi, Alan. How are you going? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you. Nice to see, see you too. Okay, uh, Ibrahim, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, teacher. How are you going? I'm fine. I don't, I don't think we've met before. Have I had you in my class before, Ibrahim? What was this is the first time. Yes, uh, that's the second time. Second time, yes, I have. Where were you? Are you from? Uh, uh, which, from uh, which country Lebanon. Are you from? Lebanon, yes, yes, because yes, you had a different. Um, I think you had your video on last time. Yes. Yes, I remember. Uh huh. Yeah, how are you doing? How's everything going on your side? Everything all right? And yes, it's good. That's great. Awesome. So, how was your weekend, guys? What did you do? Anything special? Did you go to the beach, uh, Ibrahim? Yes, <laughs> I uh, going to the doing the tan. Ah, you're getting tanned. Uh, sunbathing. <laughs> yes, sunbathing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do the same. I'm gonna do a tan. I'm all white. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much sunshine here in in, in the UK. What? There's not much sunshine here in the UK. It's always <laughs> dark and cloudy. <laughs> um, so, are you in in, uh, in Beirut or? Uh, no, in uh, Sout. Sout is that? Yeah. Uh, is it south or south? Of, south. South of Lebanon, yeah. Yes. Okay. You know Shaba? No, not really. I only know two, uh, Trablus and uh, <laughs> how do you pronounce it? <laughs> is that yes. how you pronounce it? What, Trablus? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Did I pronounce it correctly? I think I said it wrong. And I know Beirut. Uh -huh. I don't know the other cities. I had a few uh -huh. friends in Australia, you know, when um, I went to school, they were Lebanese. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, and they uh, they taught me some words, but when I was young, they, they, they weren't very nice words. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways, okay, Cecilia, welcome back. Mm. Vladimir, what did you do on the weekend? Nothing special. No it's beach for you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's quite warm, but not enough warm for catching tan. Ah, <laughs> oh, shame. I think the summer is leaving you guys now. I mean, left the UK a long time ago. <laughs> but you guys uh, might still have a bit of heat. But autumn is pretty much starting now, isn't it? You might have a few more days of sunshine, and you know, then you're going to have colder days coming. I mean, it's already cold here. We had, I think, about 10 degrees at night time. Yeah, so it's, it's getting chilly. I think the next few nights it's going to be 4 degrees. Celsius, so it's pretty cold, and during the daytime it's only 15, so it's getting chilly. All right, uh, Ibrahim has dropped out. I hope he comes back because he's always good to have around. He's a laugh. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, Cecilia, I didn't ask you how was your weekend. <sighs> Fine. We celebrated my mom's 79 years old. As a matter of fact, wow. she celebrated herself because she she yes she organized it herself. Oh, she wow. uh, collected money. She she collected no. She saved money mm -hmm. uh, for. Um, for the for the la for the Party food or? along some months, and uh, the girlfriend of my son went. It was family party. It wasn't that big issue, yeah. uh, but we had a nice uh, afternoon and evening together, gathering together, and. Uh, um, 
and we, we it's very re, re joyful or something like that. Uh, it's very it's very energetic mm -hmm. because after that it's like recharging energy. It recharges your batteries for all of us. Uh, did you have many people it's there? Only, many? It's it's only that I I got a little sad because my mom is getting is getting old. Mm. Yeah. But, oh, just the family. How is her yeah. health? Is she well? Yes, she is fine, but uh, she's she used to be very uh, energetic, mm -hmm. and now she's a little um, a Less little injured. years pass by, mm -hmm. and she starts showing. Like she she's a piano player. She's a piano oh, wow. teacher, but she no longer teaches. She no longer teaches. And she spoke that she wants to start giving those uh, books that no one is going to perform in the family to mm -hmm. university. And I felt so. Uh, she asked us, my sister and me, mm -hmm. if we would have any problem in her doing so. And of course, I said that it was her will that she had to decide, not us, that I was going to support her, whatever she decides. But afterwards, my sister and me on Sunday had a telephone conversation, and I told her that it was so moving for me mm. that she decided that, because it was like one step to leaving us. That's very hard touching. Uh... Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's very sad. Like my mother also, she's very energetic and she's always, uh, you know, she's always thinks of others before she thinks of herself. You know, first and you know, as they as you watch them reach their old age and you see their activities uh, become fewer, you know, less and less. It sort of it, it breaks your heart, you know. But this is life, you know. We get old, we. Um, and we have to slow down and take care of our health a bit more. <clears throat> but I wish you all, all the best for your mom and your family. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, uh, okay, Ibrahim is back. All done. Uh, all right, guys. Let's let's begin the class, if you, if we may. Science and technology is our topic. And Colingo is having a party next week. Really? What party? Ah, uh, uh, well, no, they're not having a party. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. I got you, yes. But I want to use this <laughs> as a warm-up to get you guys to ask me questions. So what would you ask me if, if there was a party happening at Kalingo? I mean, how, how could we even attend it, you know? So and what would you ask me? Yeah, am I yeah. Right? <laughs> Of course. Yeah, good question. Yes, I'll, everyone wants to be invited. So, <clears throat> are we invited? Yes. I think anyone who's, uh, you know, my student is going to be invited. The others, I don't think so. So you got to be, you got to be in my good books. <laughs> Only my students get to attend. Yeah, special classes. All right, what else could you ask? What time it is going to held? Uh, what time is it going to be held? Yes, yes. It's probably going to be uh, you know Friday evening uh, Pacific time. Okay. What will the lev motif be? What will the sorry? Let me catch that. What What will the lev motif be? What will uh, the reason be? Hmm. Mm. Uh, what's the uh, occasion? What's the say? occasion? Yeah, what, what's the party what for? We, what's the part? What's the party for? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually just to get together, you know, see everyone, see everyone's faces. Uh, what else could you ask? Where will it be? Mm, yes. Well, it could be if you live in California, probably it would be there. Uh, I don't know the exact address, but whoever lives there can attend the actual office. Uh, you know, visit the office. Or, but I'm, I'm sure 99% of the attendees will be online. So just like now. Yes. Okay. So. Are there any other questions you could ask me? Uh, will it be a bring and share? Ah, yes, yes, good <laughs> question. Yes. Yeah, it'll be bring your own. Yes. Anything else? What does bring and share? To take something to eat and drink to share with the others. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you, yeah. So you basically you make your own food uh, or bring snacks, bring anything you know, and then. Everyone brings a little bit, and then we all share it. Excellent. Yes. Ibrahim, you're all quiet. Speak to us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we are basically asked the question, you know, Colingo, I mean, I said a sentence. Colingo is having a party next weekend. So what could you ask me uh, if you want to know more information about the party? What can you ask me about the party? Yeah. Can, can you speak Arabic? Can I speak Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a little bit. Shall I explain? Yes. But does that help the party? I don't think that the party is going to be in Arabic though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you, you guys have asked pretty much all the questions. Um, May I take uh, some of my friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. May I bring for my friends? Yes, that's a good question. Uh, does Vladimir have to wear a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Vladimir, specifically Vladimir, has to wear a suit and tie. I want him to look <laughs> professional. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's it's called dress to impress. Yeah, so we all have to dress to impress. So we have to wear our best clothing. Yes, it's a party where we dress to impress. Okay, guys, that's excellent. Nice questions. Very, uh, very interesting. Uh, let me move on to the pronunciation now of this. Uh, and we are talking about future questions, by the way. So the grammar skill is future questions. So I wanted to see uh, how, what kind of future questions you're going to ask me. And um, so when we touch on pronunciation, there are certain letters or vowels, you know, which are pronounced in a certain way. And certain letters are left out. They're not being pronounced. Uh, and we're going to focus now on the reduction of the letter H. Okay? We touched upon this once before. But I think it's uh, it's quite important if you want to speak like a like a native or you know have that fluency uh, when speaking. So <clears throat> yeah, we said this one before, right? So is he going to work tomorrow? How could you say this sentence with a reduction of the H? Is he going to work tomorrow? How would you say this sentence as a native speaker? It, it's a, like this. Close. <laughs> so you have to take out the H. It's out of the window. Cecilia, do you remember? Or is, is he? Is he uh, going to go, is he going to work tomorrow? Yeah. But it, there's but one thing. Very you have to take out another thing, especially you, Cecilia. Ah, is he gone? Is yeah. He gone? Is he going to work tomorrow? Is he gone? That is is, so yes. difficult for an old lady. I know, I know. But when we're having an informal discussion, you're speaking to your friend, you know, 
you don't have to say going to, yeah? You just say gonna. Is he gonna is he gonna um, work tomorrow? Is he gonna work tomorrow? Yeah? So instead of saying is he going to work tomorrow, you say, is he gonna work tomorrow? To the beginning I say is he. There's no H, no he. Is he? Yeah? Is he? Is he gonna work tomorrow? Oh, uh, what about this? Uh, are you going to invite her? Are you gonna invite her? Yes, yes, that's it. So the last two words, invite her, become one word and you join them. So what do you say? Okay, Cecilia, you say it for me again, please. Are you gonna invite her? Are you gonna Are you gonna invite her? <laughs> are you gonna invite her? Yeah. Are you gonna it's, invite? It's actually, her? it's it's a bit difficult to pronounce the ending. Ibrahim, are you can, you, her? can you read her? the last sentence, please, Ibrahim? Let's see if it can. Where the don't uh, see the, the sentence in the Colingo Colingo chat. You know the chat. No, I don't have. Uh, you don't have the, the chat. I have, but don't uh, see the, the. You don't write. Oh, you have to wait. I think there's a lag. Wait a few seconds. I think it's gonna pop up. Can you other guys see it? Vladimir, can you see it? Yes, no. I can. Oh, Ibrahim, can you see it now? Yes. No, no. Nothing. You must have really uh, bad connection. Can you see where I've written hello and welcome? And then I've written easy. Can any uh, any student uh, write the chat? Okay, I'll I'll. Are you in the other chat? Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Uh, you're in the are blue you? chat. Yeah, go ahead. Are you going to invite invite her? Yeah. So the way we say it, okay, Vladimir, you say it as well, please. What? I'm going to invite her. But you said the H, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I go invite her. Are you gonna invite her? Yeah. Are you gonna invite her? Invite her. Are you her. gonna invite her? See, I'll I'll type it for you. It's like saying inviter. Inviter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna invite her? So there's no H. You don't say are you gonna invite her because it's it, it's a bit yeah. um uh, it doesn't flow as a maybe you know when you say that. So you just take out the H and say are you gonna invite her? Invite her. Invite her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, we've done these before. So usually what happens with this H is taken out when you have, um, uh, usually with pronouns at the beginning of the sent. Uh, sorry, not the beginning, at, um, yeah, just pro pronouns beginning with an H. So he, his, him, her, herself, himself, yeah? And especially if there's a word before it, you join it together. So let's have a look. I'll give you a tongue twister. We've said one before, I think, but the other one we haven't done, perhaps. Uh, Ibrahim, can you click on the Colingo chat? Not the blue chat, the Colingo chat. Okay. You see there, the, the green one, it says Colingo chat. Click on that one and hopefully you can see it there as well. I've put a long sentence there. Uh. Okay, and this is called a tongue twister. And I want you guys to read for me as fast as you can. Okay. And can you see it, Ibrahim? No, no. Yes. Okay. How, so how much wood? Yes, go ahead. Okay. How much wood would a uh, wood chuck would chuck would chuck chuck? Yeah. If Ibrahim, do you want me to read it first? Yeah, 
And then yes. you read them. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He okay. would chuck he would as much wood as he could. Okay? Do you want to try again? Or do you want to give the other students a try first? Okay. Okay, let's let's see if yes, go ahead. How much wood would uh would chuck chuck chuck? If yeah. uh, would chuck called chuck would he would chuck he would <laughs> as much wood as he could. Yes, well done. Now let's let's see Vladimir. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as much wood as he could. Yes. Now try to remember to not to say the H. I know it's difficult. Okay, Cecilia, do you want to try? Especially towards the end. How much how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if he no. If a wood chuck could chuck wood, he no shut him up. He would chuck a wood as much wood as he could. As he could, yes. <laughs> it's, it. it's tough, huh? Yeah. How much would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as he much wood as he could. Yes, that's good. It's fast. So especially towards the end, the last line, as much wood as he could, as he as he could, as he. It's like saying as he. As he could, instead of as he could, yeah? So how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much wood as he could. Yeah, that's how you say it. Somebody can do it even faster than me, but there's no point saying it too fast. Really. You don't know what I'm saying then. <laughs> so you have to listen, and uh, towards the end, this is the most important bit. When you say, as much wood as he could, as he could. Instead of saying, as he could, you say, as he could. Yeah. All right, guys. So try to incorporate this now in our in our discussions. So when you're saying something, uh, a pronoun, and with he or her, himself, herself, don't say the H. You say invite her, not invite her. Yeah. I usually, when I speak, I try to say the H, uh, especially when I'm teaching, uh, because I like to be more formal, like Cecilia. And in British, especially uh, Australian, we tend to say, say it a bit more. Uh, but informally, uh, you, you don't hear it. You don't hear the H. And uh, I believe, especially in, in American pronunciation, uh, informal pronunciation. OK, so what are we doing now? Grammar. This is very straightforward, guys. You already mentioned most of these. Uh, future questions. So I'll just quickly share the grammar with you. So uh, here we go. So yeah, how do we actually begin? Sorry, uh, there are three ways of beginning a future question. What are they? Number one. Yes, we are going to. Uh, Present continuous. Excellent. Well done. That's good. So you've perfected that. So basically, what we do, we use will. ING. Yeah. And then at the end, we use ING as well. So will, for example, will you go to work tomorrow? Will you send an email? Yeah, you're asking somebody a question that's based on the future. Will you do this? Will you do that? Okay, and um, so you can add the optional time frame, time phrase, but you don't have to. And then we have going to, or in our informal pronunciation, how do we say it, Cecilia? Gonna. Yes, gonna. Are they gonna go to the party this weekend that Kalingo is throwing? Yes. They're gonna go to the to Kalingo's party because they're my t uh, students. Mom, am I gonna get a kitten? 
Yeah, am I gonna get a kitten? I want a kitten. I've been waiting for two years. Yeah, this is a, an angry kid wants a kitten. So I want a kitten. Am I gonna get a kitten? All right, so we use going to or gonna. Sometimes we have go following that. So are they gonna go? Or you can add another verb uh, like are they gonna get a kitten? Or is he or she gonna get a kitten? Uh, is she gonna buy this kitten or not? Yeah. And finally, we have the present continuous. Yes, the ing. So here we say, are Jenny and May buying groceries? So we begin by also starting with are or is. Yeah, just like the one earlier, are or am or is. Yeah. So are they buying groceries? Is Luke driving to university tomorrow? Is he buying groceries? Is he driving to university tomorrow? Is he? Is he? Not is he? Yeah? Is he? Okay, is he? Is he is a nickname for someone else. Right, so is he? Is he or is he? Remember that. Uh, let's see. How much time do I have? That's perfect. So. Okay, somebody give me a a question using going to Vladimir or Gonna. Uh, hey, I'm going to work tomorrow. Ah, uh, well, I, I need a question. Uh, question, a question. Question. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. What are you gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> yep. Or you can be a bit more, uh, a bit more direct and say, "Are you gonna go to school tomorrow, or are you gonna go, uh, you know, to the party?" Like we said, that's good. Okay, Ibrahim, can you give me a, a future question with going to or gonna? So, any future question using are, gonna? Are you going are to? you going uh, to play football? Uh, Yes. Yeah, that's excellent. Are you gonna play football? Yeah, are you gonna play football tomorrow? Perfect. Well done, Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. And Cecilia? Are you going? Are you gonna take a cup of tea after class? Yeah. Are you going that? Yeah, I'd love to. You're gonna join me. We have a tea. I'm, nice going to, I'm going to have Mate instead. I'm going to have Mate instead. Sorry. Okay. Oh. All right. So no, no uh, tea time. Yeah, that's a good, good question. So are you gonna have a cup of tea after class? Well done. And Servet, give us one, please. Uh, let's say, are you gonna? Seven, give me a try to use a third person. Okay. Yeah, instead of because everyone's using are you going now? You know. Is she going to marry me? <laughs> nice. What a question. Straight to business. <laughs> Is she gonna marry me? I've been yes, waiting for so many years. <laughs> Is she gonna marry me? Excellent. <laughs> Yes, well done, well done, Sebet. Good, I like that. See, Sebet thinks like that, straight. Kabang! <laughs> he pops his nice questions. She gonna marry me or what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what about, uh, yeah, uh, using uh, present continuous, Sebet, give me another one. Uh, present continuous. Yeah. I just. Say that I am going there by boat. Okay, that's good. Are you going there by boat? Good, I like that. Uh, Cecilia? Um, is, is it, um, is it 
coming by three o'clock. Is he coming by three? He you mean? Yeah. Yes. Is, is it, it coming? Is it coming by three o'clock? Yeah. Good question. Is he coming by three o'clock or is he coming at three o'clock? You can also say. Excellent. Well done. Uh, Ibrahim, can you give me a, a question, future question using present continuous? An ING, you know, any ING. Is he playing? Yep. No. Mm, try to make it future. It's good. Is he playing? Uh, uh, tonight? Yeah, that's good. Is he playing tonight? Like maybe you're talking about a, a, a football match and you mentioned you're talking about Ronaldo. Is he is he playing tonight? Is Ronaldo playing tonight? Uh -huh. Excellent. Yes, yes. So don't don't misunderstand, Ibrahim. Uh, because I'm asking for present continuous, but it's based on a future question. Yeah. So when we're talking about something in the future, like a future question. You can use the form of present continuous, like you say, is Luke driving to university tomorrow? So tomorrow or tonight, like you said, represents the future. Okay? Uh -huh. But you're using the present continuous as an ING, like playing, driving, buying, yeah? But it yes. still represents the future. Excellent. That's a good sentence. Is he playing tonight? Is he playing football tonight? Vladimir. Mm -hmm. Is he marrying her? Is he marrying her? Yeah. yeah. Is he marrying her? Yeah, yes. Excellent. <laughs> I don't know, we have to ask Servet. Yes. Are you marrying her? Are you marrying her or what? It's yes, <laughs> yeah, it's up to Servet. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> We're waiting for the big wedding party. Okay, so well done, guys. It's pretty straightforward. I think all of you have gotten this uh, spot on. So let me read this article now, which is, I'll give you the link. It's taking forever to open. Very interesting. The article is in the Collingo chat. If you want to open it yourself uh, in your own window, please do that. So what are we talking about here? What does that look like? Mm. Henpresso. Henpresso solves your in-car caffeine needs. Right. So let's see what I say. Can you see that? Make it a bit bigger for me. Hold on. That's it. Okay. So getting your coffee mix first thing in the morning takes time. Time that could otherwise be spent enjoying some extra shut eye or extra sleep in this case. With the Handpresso, a small car-based espresso machine, you can save your normal coffee routine for your commute. Handpresso fits in your car's cup holder and uses 16 bars of pressure to make 1.79 uh, FL Oz of espresso. The process takes only two minutes, so your espresso is ready by the time you peel out of the neighborhood, <coughs> excuse me, by the time you peel out of the neighborhood or onto the freeway, it draws power from your car's 12V outlet. We take caffeine very seriously at Wired. Wired is the website. Uh, we also like gadgets that plug into your car's 12V adapter. So while we can't attest to Handpresso's espresso results, which it claims to be delicious, creamy, and tasty, it seems like a pretty rad and efficient way to start your day or get an es or get an espresso anytime you're on the road. So Henpresso uh, will run you 159 euros or approximately 200 uh, US dollars. So who loves their coffee or espresso in particular? Ah, oh, Cecilia was the first one to raise her hand. <laughs> yeah, Vladimir is a healthy guy. Yes, you're not, you're not having any of this uh, caffeine. Yeah, too much coffee is not good, guys. 
uh, if you're having it, try to have it, uh, you know, proportionately. You know, don't have too many cups of coffee. Uh, it's not good for, uh, I think, many things. You know, some people live on coffee. I know it's, it's sad. Like my mom, for example, she cannot function without coffee. <laughs> you know, she has to have it in the morning. Otherwise, she'll have a headache. And I know other people also do that. And uh, it's, it's like an addiction. It's become an addiction, you know. So anyways, this manufacturer here, uh, has made something called the Handpresso. And basically what it does, uh, it saves you the time in the morning to make your espresso at home by making it in the car while you're traveling. So this is the actual machine, as you can see it. It looks like a, it looks pretty much like a uh, flask or a thermos bottle where you put your coffee inside. But this one obviously has more functions to it and uh, actually makes the espresso for you. So all you have to do is plug it into your 12V, you know, your power socket, which is located here somewhere, I believe, in this car. I'm not sure, maybe it's just a break. And you plug it into the car and it makes espresso for you. So that's very handy. If I was a caffeine freak, I would probably get it. Uh, but I'm not really that, that eager. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a nifty and a quite handy um, invention. Are there any questions, guys? How are you going to use it while you are driving? Mm, good question. Well, you mean drink it or make it? How are you going to drink it while you're driving? Yeah. I guess you can drive it. I mean, if you're on a freeway, you know, you're not turning really. You just you know, use one arm. Uh, even put put the car in cruise control if you want. If you, if the car has cruise control, and you can easily drink it, sip it a little bit, bit by bit, you know, and uh, it's fine. Because espresso usually it comes in in small portions, anyways, like small shots. So I guess you can. <clears throat> you shouldn't have too much uh, difficulty. Um, yeah. Any vocabulary here which is uh, unclear? Peel out. Yeah, yeah. Peel out. You read my mind. Ah. <laughs> Great minds think alike. You know what they say about that. So your espresso is ready by the time you peel out of the neighborhood. You peel out like you, uh, as in you, <clears throat> by the time you leave or you get out of your neighborhood. Peel out as in you, so you make your way out. You make your way out of the neighborhood. You know? Uh, that's just one, uh, uh, how do you say it, a phrasal verb used. So peel out is like you get out, um, out of your neighborhood. Usually, um, because in the morning when you're traveling uh, or leaving your neighborhood, it, it's quite busy. Everyone's going to work. So you're all driving in a, in a slow uh, manner because there's so many cars on the road. And uh, so you're all peeling out, you're all coming out in, in, in rows, in, in queues, you know. Like a flow, flow of traffic, you know. Yes. Okay. If there are no other questions, I'll ask you some. So now I'll give you a sentence. And I want you to ask me questions on this, just like earlier, how we started. So I'm going to buy a new coffee machine. Now, how, how can you ask me? Remember, will, you know, is, are, or whatever, that's how you begin. And, uh, and try to use either gonna, or going to, or uh, a present continuous in a future question. So hit me. Are you paying in cash? Nice. Are you paying? Or are you paying cash? You can say yeah. Mm -hmm. Or are you paying in cash? That's fine. Excellent. Yes. Uh, yeah, probably. I'll pay cash. Maybe if I can get a discount, I'll pay cash. Are you acquainted with the hands presso? Um, uh, hand presso machine. Yeah. Hands, oh, hands presso machine. Product yes, or good. product? Good, I like that question. Are you suggesting I should buy it? 
if you if you're not acquainted I I, I suggest I am suggesting mm -hmm. you uh, get acquainted and as you are a, a espresso heavy drinker mm -hmm. I suggest you you buy it because Excellent. it's it's very convenient the price is very convenient mm -hmm. and you will save time uh, on your way to work. Excellent. Well done, Cecilia. I like how you've used the information we've just learned. And uh, yeah, I would actually. I would. Uh, I. By the way, is acquainted. Uh, if you guys don't know what that means, it's like, are you familiar with or have you heard of? Yeah. Are you, are you okay, guys? And uh, yeah. Sorry. Acquainted, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, Cecilia will type it for you. She's typing it. Oh, I think it's dropping out. Acquainted. Okay, let me see something. Is it like that or the oh, I and the A? No, no. I think it's wrong spelling. Acquainted, no? Uh, acquainted. You want to say acquainted? Acquaintance? Acquaintance is the actual uh, no, noun. Acquainted. If you, uh, are you acquainted? Oh, you should acquainted. That's what. It, yes, acquainted. Acquainted. Yeah, yeah. Thank like, you. Have you yeah, no problems. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with or have you heard of? Uh, do you have any knowledge about this product? Are you acquainted, you know, with this pen presso? Excellent. Any other questions you want to ask me? Have you counseled to your wife? Have you have you counseled your wife? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's got another interesting word. Counseled. 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 Do you want to spell it for us, Sevet? Yes. Mm -hmm. Counsel. Yeah. Yeah. To cancel. Uh, what's a synonym of this? As for this one person's opinion. Yes. As yeah. a recommendation or do a brainstorm yeah, yeah. or advice. Yep. Advice. A, so, a consultant. Yeah, okay. yeah that's yes. what it. Consultant is a or, yeah. advisor. Advisor. An advisor, like a counselor. Yeah. So have you have you counselled your your or have you yeah like have you sought advice from your wife? Have you counselled your wife? If I was to cancel my wife, she would bite herself without, with a blink of the eye, <laughs> because she's also a coffee, uh, caffeine, uh, caffeine junkie. <laughs> she's a caffeine junkie, <laughs> and she also has to have the coffees before every class she teaches. You know, she's get, she's got me into it. I usually have a mug next to me. I don't know if you can see, uh, but I finish it. I, I, I don't, I'm not that heavy. You know, into I just have a little cappuccino and mix it up, and that's it. Uh, but even though we have an espresso machine, I don't make it all the time. I try. I make it sometimes if I, if I really need a kick. If I want to go to the gym, for example, and I need to stay awake and have full of energy, I'll take a shot of espresso and I'll go to the gym. Yeah, I'd rather take that than Red Bull or any of these energy drinks because some I, I feel that it's not good for the heart. I don't know if, if you guys have noticed if you do some hardcore exercise or activity and you take a Red Bull, uh, I don't know, I feel like my heart is a little bit, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm weary about this, especially being an athlete. I don't know, you find these athletes who, who have heart attacks on the on the football pitch. Have you seen that ever before? Yes. Football players just, yes. just drop to the ground and they're perfectly yes. healthy. There was recently, I think a year ago, or maybe a couple of years ago, there was a, an English player on, in the English Premier League. Uh, he just 
he had a, his heart stopped pumping and he dropped to the ground in the middle of a match. Yes. That's and uh, and he went to hospital and they revived him. He survived. They brought him back to life. And uh, but he managed. I don't think he's playing anymore. Uh, but he recovered. Yeah. So it's uh, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know how we got into that from an espresso machine. <laughs> but anyways, so yes. Let me ask you guys another question. I'm going to the gadget show this weekend. What can you ask me? Uh, what are you going to buy there? Ah, Gona, what are you going yeah. to buy there? Yeah, what are you going to buy there? Yes, good. Or whatever I find uh, interesting. Ibrahim, what about you? Can you give me a question? On, on this topic. I'm going to the gadget show this weekend. So what can you ask me? I don't know what's meaning of uh, that, that. Gadget. You know, gadget show is like something uh, which has got to do with uh, technology. Uh, like, for example, your, your, your mobile phone, your smartphone is a gadget. Or yeah. a really, really... <clears throat> uh, a, a, the latest TV which has yes. many features on it is a gadget. You know, you might have uh -huh. a, yes. a small helicopter, a small, a small helicopter with a remote control. It's a gadget. Yes. Huh? Uh -huh. yes. So, what can you ask me about this? I'm going to the gadget show this weekend. Um. So, ask me a question. When, yeah. When you want, when you want, information. when you want, when you want going to the. To the sea, got it? Yeah, yeah. You have to ask me about the actual gadget show. So I'm. Let's say me and you are having a conversation. Okay, and I'm telling you, look, Ibrahim, I'm going to the gadget yes. show this weekend. So what? What are you gonna ask me if you want to know more information about mm -hmm. you know me going to the gadget show? If you want to know something about this, what can you ask? Uh, like I Cecilia asked me, yeah, Cecilia asked me, are you gonna buy anything there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I said, yeah, maybe if, if I find something interesting. Do you understand? Uh, so what else could you yes, ask? Yes. You you want to go with uh, anybody? Ah, are you going with anybody? Anybody. Oh, are you going with anyone? Yes, good, 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 good question. Well done, Ibrahim. So, Vladimir, what else could you ask me? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> are you going? Um, will you go by your car or mm. public transport? Nice. Will you go with your car or by your car or with your car or public transportation? Nice. I'll, I'm going to take my car. Well done. Okay. Here's another one for you guys. My parents are coming to visit me soon. What about this one? What kind of question can you ask me here? How old? How are you going to clean out your <laughs> flat <laughs> after the last party? <laughs> yeah, good one. I'm going to have to uh, get you guys to come over and give me a hand because it's a mess. Uh, and I can't do it myself. So, have you got time? <laughs> have you got time? Uh, don't make excuses now. You know, true friends are there when you need them. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah, a good one. Uh, are you gonna be able to clean out your your flat or your apartment or your house before your parents come? Nice. Servet. Yes. What about you? What do you think? What can you ask me? A future question, right? Yes, please. Uh, how are they going? 
how long are they going to stay? Yes, or how long are they going to stay? Or if you say, are they going to stay for a long time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Well done. Uh, do they know you're getting married? Mm. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a secret. It's, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise party. Hello, I'm married. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good, guys. Uh, let me see. Mm. All right, that's pretty good. Let me let me get into some more uh, questions to get uh, a brief assessment on you. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll start with um, Servet. That's okay. Yes. Right. Uh, I'll give you a word, okay, and you just make a future question. Uh, you can use any of the, the three types. You can use will, you can use gonna or going to, and you can use the present uh, continuous form. So, eat. Servet, your word is eat. I'm married. Uh, what? Will you be eating with your parents when they arrive? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Uh, what will you be eating? Yeah. Well, oh, all right. Well, what if you wanted to ask me a question, which, in like, beginning with, you know, will? Yes. How would you rephrase the question? What will you eat with your parents at dinner? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, or you could also say, will you, will you eat um, something interesting or, or something home-cooked? Home mm -hmm. Yeah. Will you eat something home-cooked home with your parents? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's have a look at another one. Mm. Okay, use this pronoun, he. In any future question. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so one more. So just use he. Yes, is he. Is he gonna be. No. Is he getting married today? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of that. <laughs> uh, when they arrive, is he gonna. What? Is he wrong? Is he going to be sleeping? Yes, good. Is he going to be sleeping when, when they arrive or when whoever arrives? Excellent. Good, good. Well done. Okay, thank you, Servet. That's good. Cecilia? Yes. Uh, drink is your first question. Drink. Um, um, when your parents arrive, <laughs> this is the theme, right? Yeah. <laughs> when your parents arrive, are you gonna drink champagne to celebrate? Ah, nice. Are you gonna drink champagne to celebrate? Yeah, that's very good. Excellent. Okay, one more. Uh -huh. Okay. Wash. Um, uh, da, uh, no, impossible. Is your little son gonna wash his hands before having dinner? Nice. That's very good. Is your son going to wash his hands before having dinner? 
Well done. Impressive. Thank you, Cecilia. Uh, okay, Ibrahim. Yes. Okay, I'll give you a word, and you just give me any future question with this word, yeah? Like the others, man. Cook. Okay, cook is your word. My mother cooking uh, cake, cake every day. Mm -hmm. That's that's good, but you you need to give me a question. Uh, oh, okay, question. Yeah. Sorry. About the future, yeah. Yes. So stick with that same same sentence, but make it future question. Mm -hmm. uh, what my mother cooking uh, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What What's my mother cooking tomorrow? Mm, yeah, that's okay. Uh, in this case, you could say. Uh, is my mother cooking tomorrow? Uh -huh. Yeah. Is my mother cooking tomorrow? Um, okay. Let me give you another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a future question and use Vladimir. What? <laughs> yeah. Use Vladimir's name. Name? Yeah, yeah. Vladimir. You know Vladimir? Uh, no. Our friend from, from Russia. Uh, our friend Vladimir from Russia. You don't know him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Try try to give me uh, any any future question and use use Vladimir. Uh, <laughs> what? <you understand? laughs> what? No. What's Vladimir? Vladimir is that's the uh, your your neighbor. Your neighbor is right next to you. <laughs> it looks like Mad Library. <laughs> uh, maybe you don't know that the name that, that well. So use um. Okay, use uh, Muhammad. Okay, and use a future question uh, using the name Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> is Muhammad uh, uh, just use Muhammad in a sentence you know like make, make a question is, is Muhammad playing uh, football yes nice is Muhammad playing football that's good man yeah excellent <laughs> you could <laughs> so simple so you could have said is, is Vladimir playing football is Vladimir playing football, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well done, Ibrahim. Okay, Vladimir. Yeah. Here we go. Use use Ibrahim. <laughs> Who is Ibrahim? <laughs> Who is <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, I have to have a biscuit. <laughs> um, is Ibrahim gonna visit the USA? Well done. Is Ibrahim gonna visit the USA? Perfect. Now uh, use he instead. Is he gonna visit the USA? Excellent. <laughs> I like the easy, the easy sound. That's good. Yes. Uh, well done, guys. I think you've mastered this um, this grammar skill and the pronunciation of the, you know, this not well, the sound H, right? The reduction of H. Excellent. Are there any questions, guys? Servet, Cecilia, Ibrahim, Vladimir. No. Thank no? you. Excellent. You've done very well. And I hope to see you again soon. Uh, have a wonderful day. Enjoy whatever the same you're to do. you. The same to you. Same bye to you. bye. See you next time, guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye.